I think if journalists are completely safe um, and unafraid, what it will mean uh, for society, I think, is that it will validate a, a mature democracy. But for the citizens themselves, it will allow them more room and avenue to participate in their own lives and in the policies that will affect them. I also think that people understanding the need to keep media safe is them understanding that I am safe, that I can talk and I can participate. The Commission on Human Rights has always been a pillar and a stakeholder in the Philippine Plan of Action for the Safety of Journalists. They were crucial not only in taking part in the consultations, in the dialogues, but bringing the different sectors to those dialogues, to opening that door, to allowing uh, delegates uh, from civil society, from human rights defenders, to state agents, local governments, national governments, to take part in, in the consultations. We don't necessarily know what a national mechanism ultimately looks like, but we know that the pursuit of that uh, is already having impact um, in our society. It's all just about best practices as well as mistakes. It is precisely just about sharing what works and sharing what has not worked and what has in, at sometimes maybe even made things worse. But as long as that is, there is that peer-to-peer -peer learning, it all lends itself to something more powerful.